Do I look tired? All right, good morning, gang. Uh, we are another day, it's another rewire. Um, try and keep up because this is a very big place. I'll give you a little walk around. This is the living room. Uh, well, actually, no, this is the bedroom. This is the bedroom. He's got wall lights going in here, two behind you. One on that wall there, and then one on that sort of wall there. That wall there is going to be like a, that's going to be like some sort of feature wall. You know how, um, you know how there used to be like, uh, it used to be a thing that everybody really hated where you had bare brickwork. Well, now it seems to be quite trendy and everybody wants bare brickwork. So that's what they're having here. So there's a socket going, there's a bed going here apparently, somewhere there. And then there's a socket down there, so we're putting some gal pipe on this wall here. So that'll be on that wall. Bathroom, not a lot to see. Um, Peter's actually been in here the last couple of days stripping all this out. So I think where you are is the shower. Uh, bog there. Cylinder's going here, they've got like a hot water cylinder. There's no gas here, but there's a cylinder going there. And then this apparently is the sort of shaving area. Mirror, all more cons, you know. This is the only room they're having a drop ceiling. They're bringing the ceiling down about here so we can fit a couple of down lights in. The rest of it's wall lights everywhere. And then this is, um, and then this is the kitchen. So it's not huge, but it will look nice. Kitchen's going in here in this corner here. Where you're stood is gonna be uh, like a dining room and there'll be like a breakfast bar going here, sort of, you know, like pins o'clock sort of thing. Uh, and there's a pendant coming down there over the table. Wall light there, wall light there. Because there's no ceiling lights here, we haven't got the, we can't, um, we can't fix it. We could fit a pendant in, but they look bloody ugly. So we're gonna do wall lights everywhere instead, which I think will look quite nice. That's the cylinder. And that's Dave, making a fucking racket. Amen. A amen, <laughs> amen. Ah, yeah, and we're using, we're gonna try galve capping on this, because everyone's banging on about, I'm not banging on, they're politely saying it. You know how we fit this plastic capping everywhere? And everyone's going on about, um, oh, I should give galve capping a go. So, oh, I've got it, we'll try it. That was, what was that? It was like 10, that was 12 lengths for 32 quid. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> really ex it's like really expensive. So, all right, well, we'll give it a go and we'll see, we'll see what it's like. Uh, I know the argument's still rumbling on, you don't need to fit it, but it's, I don't know. We'll give it a go and we'll report back. So give us five minutes, let's get set up and we'll, uh, we'll catch you in a bit. It's more work to put it in, but it's, I mean, it's not more work as such, it's just you've got to be a bit more careful with it with the cabling, but it is nice, I like it. I don't know if I'm converted yet, we'll do the other rooms and I'll let you know. That's the other thing, people banging on about, um, I quote it in a previous video, I was talking about, um, actually it was a job I didn't get, I quoted, it was a two bed flat and I quote, I think it was 6,000 to do that, not expensive. Everyone's like, oh my God, that's way too expensive, should be 2,000 quid. 2,000 quid, I just paid nearly 30 quid for that capping. Do you, know what, do you know what I mean? <laughs> you put an RCBO board in, surge protection, metal capping, fucking two, I wouldn't have any profit, you know? That was how I hit my finger the other day. I don't know if you, I put a photo on Twitter about, I, I was doing exactly that. I was actually, no, I was, I was hitting an earth rod in. And when you're holding the earth rod like that, and I was banging like this with a hammer, I missed and I hit the, I just hit my finger and it's uh, it turned a really nasty shade of black but it's uh, it's not too bad now it's uh, I thought the nail would fall off but some people were saying apparently if you get like a really hot pin and you pierce it or something and that apparently helps I'll just have a black finger for a month I'm all right with that I'll run all the cabling in first because I'm just doing all the sockets now I'll run all those in because they're having wall lights in here rather than pendants and stuff so I'm going to see if I could I'll run all this in and if I've got to run the lighting cables with it and I can put the galvanized capping on it afterwards rather than having two or three lots of capping, I'll just try and share it in one piece of capping. I'm doing these at 500 off the deck because they've got, um, I think they've got insulation going in above this floor and then above that is in the floating floor, the, the wood floor. So I've allowed sort of 100 mil for that. So 100 mil, 400 off the deck, the new deck for the socket, that should take you to about 500 ish that was the other great thing we haven't got to chisel in any of the cabling because they're dotting and dabbing this uh peter the builder here all of this is being dot and dab so we can just put our capping on and just the the plasterboard goes over the top which is fab because that saves that does help save a bit of time so it makes life a little bit easier which is good 
The guy said he's having, he's having a double bed in this corner. So what's a double bed? A standard bed's what? Four foot six? What's a double bed, Tom? Four six? A standard double? Yeah, I think so. And he's butting it right up against that wall. Say four six, we'll say five foot. Add an extra foot just to be on the safe, say six foot, all right? Socket will go there. That allows for a bedside table or something if he wants it. That reminds me actually. Um, I, was, uh, I was having a float around on uh, ITS the other night. I don't know whether they've like, I don't know they, how they've managed to do it. There's, I'll leave a link in the description. I'll leave a little thing of it on the screen here. The black stuffing glands. I haven't actually got any here now. The black 20 mil stuffing glands, um, compression glands. They're doing a pack of, I think it's a pack of 50, I think for 14 quid. I'm not entirely sure how they're doing it that cheap. Um, I know some people, are, I noticed in the comments the other day, some people are like, oh, they're really expensive. Same as everywhere. Some, some bits are more expensive, others are cheaper. You know, it's the same as anything. It's, um, but yeah, pack of 50, and they do them in red, grey, white and black, all four colours. And it was pack of 50 for 14 quid. So I'll leave a link in the description, because I bought a load of them the other day, actually, because that's a bloody cheap price. It does make you wonder, you know, you make, you're trying to make the effort to follow like wiring routes and stuff. So it's a socket going here, so you can go that way, you can go directly up that way, and you're trying to make the effort to stick to it. <laughs> it does make you wonder whether there's any point. I, don't tell, I went to a job yesterday, Chancery Lane, I had that quote to go and do. Oh yeah. And it was, uh, it was a flat, but it was probably the size of Addersland. It was a big gaff, yeah. and they got this big beautiful balcony out the back. And uh, I've got to do the lights on the balcony there. They've got their own electrician doing the rewire there. And uh, I've just got to do the wiring for the, uh, the lights on the balcony. And of course, you walk in, there's that awkward moment where the spark there is wiring. <laughs> He's wiring the flat and I've got to come in to do my bet. And it's sort of, you know what I mean? It's sort of that like hostility between sparks. I don't know why we do it. It's just one of those things. And I don't know why you bothered trying to do, follow wiring routes. That wiring there was like fucking Armageddon. It was just wires here, here, I mean the ceiling. You know, Addersland, we did it, it was all beautiful tray, it was yeah, copex, it was fucking, lo it was lovely, you know? <laughs> that place, it was like Spaghetti Junction, it was just cabling everywhere, and you just thought, <laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't bother saying, oh, that's not my fucking place to say anything, it's his job, you know? But it does make you, does make you wonder sometimes, you know? I'm using these snips, because I, anyone who follows me on Twitter will know that um, I blew a hole in my snips the other week. Uh, usual stories, late, rushing, didn't check, bang. I know, safe isolation, all that bollocks, I know. But anyway, blew a hole in my snips. And we've all been there, all right? Let's not lie to each other. Every spark has done it, all right? It happens, okay? But anyway, bought these ones. And these are the ones that have got these little cutouts so you can strip 1.5 and 2.5 and stuff. Um, it's a nice idea. I, I do like it, but it's just, it's a pain because like if you want to, if you just want to cut a piece of cable with the normal bladed ones, you just, you know, you don't have to think about it. You just cut with these ones. You've got to cut in the top quarter, which makes it, you've just got to think. It's, I mean, they're good. Same as, I think if you just keep using them, you get the hang of it. Yeah, Galve is quite nice, actually. It's, it is more expensive, but I think it looks nicer as well. I think it's got a nicer finish on it. Just while we're running this cable in it. We've been trying it. This is, uh, this little thing here, it's from Super Rod, and I picked it up the other day. It's, they call it the cable jack, but you basically, it's just, it is exactly that. These legs just unscrew, and uh, the idea is these four legs just, you store them in there, and then when you need it, you just set it up. And I thought I'll give it a go and just see, just see what it's like. It, it won't hold like, you know, a drum of, you know, like a hundred meter fat drum of 10 mil, but it's, <laughs> it, <laughs> these legs are just snap. But if you just want to set something up quickly, just for like a drum of one mil or something, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's all right. You just spool off what you want. I mean, it's pretty stable. It's just a small... So yeah, we're trialing it and we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted over time and let you know, and we'll let you know how we go. Just for the record, I'm trying very hard not to repeat myself, okay? I know there's about, I don't know, 98% of you say that I repeat myself. I'm well aware of it, okay? And that's why there's so many fucking jump cuts in the videos, because I repeat myself. So we are making an effort to try to not repeat myself. It's just saying, I don't know why. 
It's just like, it's I think... you're on the spot and you're trying to think while you're working. You've just got used to it, haven't you? Yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> you just, I'll I can... tell you what, hearing the repetition over and over again... Fuck it has you. Two things. No, it's actually a good <laughs> learning method. Yeah, I know when I was younger I did it and my mum, she always said she always said it. I just I'd say a sentence, I literally I just say the same thing again. And she used to pick me up and I think she got to the point she just gave up. So it's just sort of this is the result now. But Tom's used to it now. Dave. That was good. People were talking about this thing. It's still some of these things keep but keep keep coming back in the comments. Usual suspects, plastic blanks and fuse boards, that one's still going, still rumbling on, I don't, I just don't understand it. And the other one is putting switches in cupboards, that's the other thing. So like this customer's got a couple of cupboards here um, and we're just putting, I'll put the isolator for the cooker, the oven, um, and there's a, I think there's a dishwasher going here. I'll just put the other, I'll just put those on 47 mil surface boxes at the back of the side of the cupboard. I'd, so I'd like to put them at the back, but the side actually makes a bit more sense. I put them on the side of the cupboard, so you open the door and they're just there. Um, but some people don't like doing it that way. But nobody wants these switches on display, that's the problem. You tell a customer, you've got to put, you know, a row of isolators there. No one fucking wants them. It's just, so you just put them in the cupboard there. We're almost done today. Not a lot to see here. First fix is generally quite boring, um, but uh, sockets are going in. There's a little counter, like a breakfast bar here for pims and stuff. So uh, there's a fridge going there, but these, I'm not 100% sure what height these sockets are going at. So we've just left a bit of slack on them if they've got to move. Um, that's quite a good little bit of kit. I, we quite like it. It's not great for big cables, but just for little drums of one mil and stuff. That's it. It's a good little idea. And it's just neat and easy to transport. So yeah, I, I gave that the thumbs up. I thought it was good. Right, well, there was a bit of discussion because the last couple of weeks we've been talking about like, different brands and stuff and like what, what, because I've got to kit both those vans out. And there was a bit of sort of discussion about what brand we're going to go with because there was DeWalt, Milwaukee, Bosch, Makita. You know, there's quite a few out there. Um, I have made a decision and we bought it. I've yet to go and pick it up because I'm going to, there's an, I've got to stock the vans at ITS, which I think is coming in about two weeks time. So basically all of this gear, I'm, I think the best thing, I might as well, should we give it away? We might as well. Might as well give it away. Oh, we might as well. We'll give it away because this stuff here, we, I'm going to replace it because we, this has done the mileage which, we, which I wanted it to, you know? But it's all right, like, I mean, you can see it. It's... All right, the grinder, I admit, she doesn't sound healthy. The grinder is spares a repair, but the rest of it is all right. Um, the grinder works. The works. It, it does. It's not a spare repair, it works. <laughs> it, it just sounds a bit rough, that's all. Yeah, after what we've put it through. Yeah, I was going to send it to uh, like AV or someone for a tear down, I don't know. But yeah, so it does work, but um, yeah, the 12 volt stuff's there, the 18 volt stuff's there, but I will give it away, but not yet, because we're still using it. Um, so that will be coming up shortly. Yeah, the vans are getting there, slowly. I mean, they're not there yet, but they are, we are starting to get a bit more organization here, bit by bit. We did put a blue roll dispenser up here, because that was one thing that was unanimous in the comments. It made more sense to have that there, so we ended up, I bought another one and put it up there. I'm trying to figure out a way, if anybody knows, how do you turn down the thermostat on these hot water tanks? Because that, honestly, the engine's been off for the last eight hours, and that's just about right now. That's. In fact, even that's borderline too hot to touch. You could make a cup of tea out of that, it's so hot. There'd be no way of turning the thermostat down. I've taken it off and I can't see anything. I've got a feeling it's like, um, it's uh, like a resistor or something, it, I don't know. I'm guessing it's something in there, but you can't, I had a look for like a screwdriver thermostat adjustment and there isn't one. But if anybody knows a hack, let me know. 